Okay, so let's convey each of these numbers in scientific notation. So remember what we said, um, if we're doing standard scientific notation, it's standard practice to put the decimal place behind the first um, significant digit. So um, this one's in the right place. So if we wanted to put it in scientific notation, we would just do times 10 to the zero, because 10 to the zero, that's actually one because we're not trying to change this number at all. Right, so here we've got to move that to there, okay, because why? Because it's got to be after the first significant digit. So then we see 6.14. Is 6.14 the same as 61.4? No. So we've got to do something to that to make it the same. So we've got to multiply it by 10, right? Because 10 times 6.14, of course, is 61.4, yeah, if you need to do it on your calculators, that's what you got them for. Hopefully you don't. Um, but in scientific notation, we always put the exponent, and um, the exponent 1 just says whatever this is, is stays the same. So uh, 6.14 times 10 to the 1 is 6.14 times 10, which is 61.4. Here we've got to do it the other way, 1, 2, take it uh, two spaces to the right. So remember, to the left it's going to be a positive exponent, to the right it's going to be a negative one. And we're moving it two places, so let's, um, right, well of course it's going to be 6.65, like that. That's not the same as 0 0.0665. Course. So we've got to multiply that by 10 to the something, and that something is however many spaces we moved it, and since we moved it to the right, it's going to be negative, and since we moved it two spaces, it's going to be negative two. So that's how you do scientific notation for all of them. This one we didn't move, so it's zero. This one we moved once to the left, so it's positive one. This one we moved one, two times to the right, so it's negative two. Everybody cool with that one? Pretty straightforward. Good job, guys.